Bonsoir tout le monde. Uh, welcome to uh, video blog number four for uh, heavyhops.blogspot.com. Uh, thanks for all the positive messages and uh, for all the views that these uh, first uh, video blogs are getting. Uh, as you all probably know, I'm just starting off the beer blog, so uh, we're just trying to get things off the ground and uh, running at the moment. Uh, the first four uh, video blogs have all been about Belgian beers, and uh, this one is uh, unfortunately no different. So unfortunately, if you don't like Belgian beers, you can pretty much just switch off now. Um, until May 2010, I'm going to be based uh, in France, uh, in Avignon, and uh, probably most of my video blogs will be based, uh, unfortunately, on uh, Belgian or French, possibly German beers as well, uh, certainly for the foreseeable future. Um, obviously, hopefully when I get home at Christmas, etc, we'll be able to sneak in a few brew dogs. Uh, hopefully I have, uh, well I have two beer orders waiting as well, uh, stacked full of stuff from uh, Stone, uh, stacked full of stuff from uh, Meat Keller as well. So hopefully we'll get some uh, different um, blogs uh, and video blogs on the go then. This evening though, as you may notice from the board behind me, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Triple Carmelite, which until about a week ago I hadn't really heard very much about. Um, I have however now been told that it is pretty good, so hopefully, hopefully it lives up to expectation. This one again, as I say, is um, Belgian and it weighs in at, uh, do, 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 I think, eight, yeah, 8.4% this one. This one in particular was uh, about two euros, so roughly one seventy-five, one eighty in uh, real money. Right, as usual, let's pop it first into the uh, Cote d'Iron uh, glass just to get the nose from it. So as I mentioned, this bottle uh, is a 330ml, I know the last one I reviewed was a slightly smaller bottle, it was uh, Devel, Devel Green, sorry, Devel uh, Gefiltered. Hmm, that's really fresh, I really like that smell, certainly. Um, it's very tropical almost, it's kind of got a... Um, It's kind of tropical and sweet. There's a slight, a slight medicinal smell as well to it. But um, yeah, I would certainly describe that. The main flavours there are being slightly honey-like, slightly sweet, and uh, pretty tropical, and a little bit medicinal as well. So to taste it, we'll pop it into the uh, proper uh, snifter. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, the proper triple caramelite glass for this. Apparently, it's. Uh, Apparently it's very nice. Wow, we've got a decent head on that one anyway. <laughs> um, oh, the ventures of live television. Um, well, apart from lots of foam, I can't smell very much. Uh, right, let's go for uh, a proper taste of this if I can get past the foam that I've created. Now, um, I'm so sick of Belgian beer almost, I hate to say that, but um, no, I'm not. This is good. This is one of the best Belgians I've had. Uh, certainly one of the best that I've, I've reviewed in quite a while, actually. Um, kind of estuary quality about this one again. Uh, but definitely got that nice caramel sweetness through it and uh, we've also got a lot a lot of tropical fruits in there kind of, I, I can't even almost pick them out they're almost a little bit uh, indescribable there's a nice uh, whack of hops in there as well which I haven't really talked an awful lot about considering these video blogs are for a, a blog that's primarily concerned with very hoppy beers um, however the hops in this aren't kind of um, they're definitely not in your face but I think it's the hops that actually round this beer off very well so they actually probably attribute most of the quality to this beer because they do round it off pretty well. Uh, all in all, definitely a beer that I would recommend if you get the chance to try. Um, so once again, that beer is um, Triple uh, Carmelite. 
and it is uh, 8.4%, but certainly does not taste like 8.4%. Uh, maybe a little bit dodgy, that one. Um, right, well, thank you for watching uh, video blog number four. Um, probably be another couple of days yet before uh, we get video blog number uh, five up. Um, probably won't be any uh, video blogs tomorrow night, but I'm hoping to get some reviews up uh, tomorrow for some French beers and uh, also for some other Belgians and for uh, Brewdog beer as well. So we're hoping to review uh, Hardcore IPA and uh, Atlantic as well tomorrow. Sorry, I've completely lost track of what I was saying there. Uh, right, well, enjoy uh, the rest of your evening, um, and I'll certainly enjoy this, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in uh, video blog 5 in a couple of days' time. Thanks for watching.